getting ready to weld the inside panel onto the crane wing and I have to do it from the front. So I've drilled my holes, made sure that I have something underneath that I'm going to be actually welding to. But before I do the welding, I want to talk just a little bit about the, uh, well, their vice grips, although this isn't the vice grip brand that I use. I have well over 50 pairs of vice grips and they come in all sizes, all configurations. They each have a specific job that they do, um, all the way up to giant ones like this, which I don't use very often, and actually they have ones bigger than this, all the way down to little tiny ones like this. And they each have their use and their purpose. I uh, put these, they look like they're just tape, but actually there is a piece of a leather glove in here that I've cut out and wrapped around the uh, the serrated edge here because otherwise you'll end up with serrated marks on your metal and sometimes they're hard to get rid of when you're at the end. So they just kind of fit over like that. Um, so I have my wing piece in place with all my vice grips. Um, I have my uh, ground here. Even though my welding table is actually grounded on the other side, which grounds the whole table, I have my wing sitting up on boards to get it a little bit higher, and I don't want the underside of it to touch the table because then it will arc through the underside, and sometimes that also makes a mark. So, hooking up my ground. Get my welding helmet on and my gloves. And here we go. You can see that as I weld, I get what's called spatter, which are these um, bumps and black marks. Spatter is kind of the bane of a welder's existence because uh, these things are stuck on here pretty tight. And I, to get them off, I'll either have to use a tool like this and kind of chisel them off, which works on some if they're not hooked on real well. Otherwise, I'll have to use the grinder or a wire brush to uh, remove those. So what I do instead to combat that is I usually cover up uh, what's close to what I'm welding so that I won't get spatter on it. Um, sometimes this works well and sometimes it doesn't. But uh, this is kind of what I've come up with to uh, counteract the effects of spatter. So I'm going to go ahead and finish welding these and hopefully today we'll put both of the wings on the bird body. Thanks for watching.